Hey guys, my name is Confident. Welcome to the 24 minute lesson except where I will be sharing with you some ideas, some methods, some strategies or concepts that you can incorporate as you prepare for your final exams, be it your studying for your mathematics N1, your N2 or your N3. Now, if these videos are handy and you are benefiting from them, you can actually press the like button or if you've got some ideas, you can leave some comments below. If you also like to be notified of extra videos every time we post them, you can subscribe to our channel and then you'll get some notification every time they are new videos. And also, if you are interested in some of our resources, be it test books and some videos, you can check this at the end of this video. We will send you some information. Now, let's check this concept out. The example given below uh, shows one of the typical exam questions that you can be asked where it comes to mensuration of plane shapes as uh, the main topic of today and the question says calculate the area of the figure below now this is um, what you might uh, find in an exam whereby you are supposed to analyze a given question uh, use the information that you are given so that you can be able to simplify it and get your answer correct now let us look at this question it says calculate the area so it is focusing on the area and area falls under mensuration of plane shapes and uh, as we said this is mathematics n1 now you can see that this shape is divided into two parts you have got uh, the rectangle part and then you have got a uh, part of a circle we call it the semicircle now if i can maybe uh, shade it differently so that you can see what uh, we are having in this case if uh, maybe I can shade to say we have got this part of this of the because it wants the area and by the area they are talking about uh, the inside in this case of a shape so you have got this part right and then the other part that you are having is this particular part whereby it is um, half of a circle and half of a circle we call it the semicircle so this is what the uh, the question is uh, trying to say find the area which is what is inside so if I can separate it I have um, this part I can try to make it a bit clear. So I have got that part with the dimensions and the other part I'm having it is this part which is half of a semicircle as well as the dimensions. Apologies for my diagram there. Now we, you are given the dimensions. This is six centimeters and this is 10 centimeters so here is not a problem it is uh, easier for you to find the area this shape is a rectangle and you need to know what is the area of a rectangle it is length times breadth or times width this is a for area is length times breadth where this is your length and this is your breadth now this is a semicircle so for you to find the area of a semicircle the easier way to do that is to find the area of a circle whereby if i can use a different uh, marker there now for the area of a circle for this part area but this is of a full circle it is pi r squared now this is the area of a full circle now a semicircle is half of a circle so you divide the area of a full circle which if i can make it into maybe like this let's say you are given a full circle so if you divide it by two you also divide that part by two so the area of a semicircle in this case i'll say a of sm meaning semicircle it is pi r squared over 2 that is basically uh, that part whereby 
if if this is the center and from there it is the radius you can actually use that information so now if i can use these two given information and what i have the first part of the rectangle it is easier now the area there is l times b so area of rectangle in this case it is length times breadth which is my length as you can see is 10 and my breadth is 6 so not a complicated shape this one so your answer becomes 60 now it's centimeters it would be centimeter squared so in the center here it would be 60 centimeter squared now the next part now is to find the area of the semicircle now if you look at your shape it is interesting to say uh, the shape it is six centimeters in this case now if it is six centimeters which means if i can divide the shape like that into the center you can see that from if this was the center the distance from here to here is my radius just as i i showed there so this is my radius so now it is also same as the distance that is where they they were trying to trick you there this distance from here to here can use a different pen again as well as the distance from here to here all these distance even from here to here all these are the same distance this is r as well as that is r so now you can see that this one is half so it will be three even here it will be three so that i've got three plus three i get this particular six so even the radius here is equal to three so that's how they were trying just to trick you there so that um it looks like there is no dimensions for the radius but the radius there is equal to three centimeters so with that you are able then to find the area of of the circle i mean of the semicircle area of semi circle then you say it is equal to as you say it is pi r squared over 2 which is equal to pi times then the r is 3 squared over 2 now with the use of your calculator you are able then to say what is the final answer in terms of pi times 3 squared all over 2 you press your sd it is 14.137 to three decimal places um remember again the units are centimeter squared now the next part that you need to do is then for you to find the total area now remember the total area is for you to add the area okay if i can write this particular area we say it, it is 14 using a different pen here it is a is 14.137 so now it is for you to add this particular area and that particular area which is the total area in this case you say total area is equal to 60 centimeter squared plus 14.137 centimeter squared now you can again use in this case your calculator to simplify again that so it will be um, 60 plus 14.137 and your answer becomes 74.137 74.137 remember area is measured in square units in this case our units were centimeters so it will be 74.137 centimeter squared so if you forget the units they will penalize your mark and also it is important for you to indicate and to show your working uh, clearly of course you do not need to show the part whereby i was trying to um, 
this is the solution that they are interested in you don't need to show the top part but if you could have solved it with the method that i've shown under you could have gotten all your marks and usually it is around five six marks for this question sometimes four if ever they were a bit stingy with the marks but you can get five marks for that now this was the concept that i wanted to bring across to you thank you i hope the video that you just watched was of benefit to you and as i said if you benefited from the video you can press the like button or you can leave us a comment below and if you want to be notified of these videos you can always uh, subscribe to our channel now if you want the full curriculum of this mathematics if you are studying for mathematics n1 n2 or n3 and you want the test book as well as the videos we have a full um, curriculum of the mathematics n1 n2 n3 as well as the accompanying videos we also have videos of the previous question papers the latest papers that were written in video form these question papers can assist you as you prepare for your exams we also have pdf version of the previous question papers that were that were written since 2014 until now and if you want them you can check all the information from our website and trust me these will become very handy to you uh, we sell them at a very discounted prices and it is worth the try thank you